Tip number 13 from the book 501 Contractor Tips, Sales Tax Identification Number. If you are not familiar with sales tax, then you'd better learn or stay away from it. I've met a few contractors that they'll actually get a sales tax identification number, which means they are responsible for paying the taxes. They can actually buy products. They can purchase products without paying a sales tax. So let's say you have a $150,000 worth of lumber. This could turn out to be a substantial amount of money you would pay in sales tax. Well, if the lumber company sells it to you wholesale, where you don't pay any taxes, um, you're responsible for the taxes now. So there's a, there's a lot of things that, um, as a new contractor, you should probably stay away from. And this is actually one of them until you gather a little more information. Now, for the contractors who have a little more experience and they, and they choose to handle this, and uh, save a couple of bucks here and there, go for it. Because uh, um, if you're going to work a deal out with someone, buying something, any, any products and materials cheaper um, without paying sales tax or some type of wholesale programs, then it could be extremely beneficial to your financial bottom line. So again, uh, stay away from this unless you really understand it. And do not forget, and this is the biggest problem with contractors, and I, I just see it too many times. They look at their bank account, and if their bank account says $74,000, that's how much money they think they have. Well, if you owe $78,000, then you don't have anything. If you owe $70,000, then you got $8,000. You've got to understand the profit, you, got, you need to understand the money you're making, what's yours, what's somebody else's. This is extremely important. I cannot stress this enough as a contractor or anyone else who's in business.